Neil Harrison, Dengate, with your news briefing. Queensland has hit a major vaccine milestone that's set to trigger an easing of some restrictions. The federal government's vaccine data published today has the state at 70.25% double vaxxed, paving the way for interstate air travel into Queensland to resume. The state's Premier is expected to make the announcement tomorrow. Meantime, people with compromised immune systems like cancer sufferers are being urged not to delay getting their booster COVID shot. The program is gathering steam. Already, more than 250,000 booster shots have been administered in just the week since the scheme began. The agreement reached at the Glasgow Climate Summit is being criticised as a watered-down version of what is actually needed. A last-minute change by India has meant the phrase phasing out coal has been changed to phasing down. But US climate envoy John Kerry insists the deal is still a good one. We had a choice between whether or not we leave Glasgow with all these other things that we've accomplished and whether or not we change a word that says it, that still says we got to phase it down. I'll take phase it down and fight next year. An emergency warning has been issued for a bushfire that's burning about 100 k's northeast of Perth. The blaze at Mokine is out of control and residents in northern parts of the town are being urged to evacuate. And the central west of New South Wales is bracing for more flooding with levels around Forbes set to peak on Tuesday and Wednesday. The SES have already received 100 calls for help. Open your ears to a new world of audio, radio, podcasts, music and news. Catch Carrie and Tommy and much more on Listener. Download the new app and listen for free. The Wallabies are now looking ahead to their next match against Wales in Cardiff, putting last night's drubbing by the Poms behind them. The Aussies copped a 17-point thrashing from England, 32-15. to Coach Dave Rennie says it was frustrating to watch. Possession territory stats during the 60s in favour of England and they choked us down there. Uh, just made too many errors and, and yeah, dumb penalties. Michael Hooper will have to prove his fitness ahead of next weekend's clash after suffering a foot injury in a tackle. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. Checking the weather for the limestone coast. Cloudy with showers today, tops of 14 degrees. A shower or two and 14 again tomorrow. Tuesday, cloudy with a top of 16. And for radio, podcasts, music and news, download the free Listener app.